Kristen and Karma Cakes here and I'm bringing you another full craft video. But today's video is gonna be a little different. Today I am showing you all there is to storage in full craft. Like every kind of chest you could possibly want. And the reason I'm doing this video is for a very special friend of mine, a Shanton, who is actually playing on my server with me. And she sent out a message asking what are the different kinds of chests she could use in Fullcraft. So I decided to do a little how-to video. So hi, Ash. This video is for you. All right, I also had some very special help from my friend, the Dog Miner, because he knows a lot more about modded than I do. So he helped me figure all this stuff out. So we're going to start over here. This is the mini chest. It holds one item, as you can see, like, well, you could have, like, a whole stack of one item, but that's it, nothing else. And to make this, you just need a regular chest, and then you can make nine mini chests. And so let's go ahead and I'll show you. Um, I've seen them set up kind of like this before, and so if I can shift, you could have, like, a whole pot of them or something. I don't know. You can do whatever you want with these. But remember, you can only have one stack of items in each one. So they're kind of useless. Anyway, the next one, of course, is just a regular chest. Everybody knows how to make a regular chest in Minecraft. We've got the trap chest. Again, a normal one. Just add a tripwire hook. Um, this is the uncolossal chest, full of ashes. Lovely. <laughs> Mind you, Dog Miner helped me a lot with this, so uh, that's where all this came from. Anyway, an uncolossal chest is made with a colossal chest wall and a piece of wood plank, and that's it. Um, and I'll show you the, un the colossal chest walls here in a little bit. Now here we have an iron chest. Now these can hold significantly a lot more, and they also, like, if you hit this button, I believe, yeah, it sorts it. And so these can be kind of handy. Now this is a gold chest, and it's a little bit bigger. You could do the same kind of functions with it. To make the iron chest, I forgot to show you this, you can use a chest and eight pieces of iron. Or you can put an upgrade, which is back here. You can actually put, can I see? No, I can't tell which, what it is. There we go. It's a wood to iron chest upgrade. And you can actually put that upgrade on a normal chest. So that's something to keep in mind. You can make the upgrades instead of actually making the chest. So this is a gold chest, like I said, a little bit larger. You can make an iron chest in the middle and eight pieces of gold. For a diamond chest, which holds quite a lot, you need a gold chest, two diamonds, and some glass. Um, for a copper chest, you need a chest in the middle with copper all around, eight copper all around. It holds about the same as an iron chest, I think. Yeah, it does. Um, this is a silver chest, which is about the same as the gold. And the silver, it takes the copper with silver all around. This is a really cool chest. This is called the crystal chest. It holds as much as the diamond chest, but check this out. When you add things into it, you can see what's in the chest. I really like this one. This one's kind of neat. I've seen quite a few people using it on the server, but that one is really cool. Now, over here, this is for the obsidian chest, and it takes eight, eight obsidian and a diamond chest, and it holds just, I think, about the same as the crystal chest looks like. Yeah, and now, don't get confused. This is not an ender chest. It is an obsidian chest. Uh, this is a dirt chest, which apparently holds one stack or one item. Um... <laughs> How to use your dirt chest, 9,000. Nice. Um, this is just dirt all the way around a chest. Um, over here, you should know how to make an ender chest. Pretty simple. Um, this is a special ender chest. Now, this is kind of cool. You make this with blaze rods, um, a piece of wool, a chest, two obsidian, and an ender pearl. 
Now, the reason I like this one is because this can actually be color coded. And if you put a diamond on it, you can actually make it your own. So it's nobody else can get into that color chest. Um, now, I know Dog was playing around back here. I don't think we can do the diamond in creative mode, so they're all opening for some reason. But um, he did kind of play around with some color coding and things, and I'll show you, too, right now how you change them. So, actually, let's just do this one over here since it's all white. You just left-click with the die in your hand on top of the uh, ender chest. And that's it. And now it's a totally different chest. So it won't open when, or those won't open when this one opens. If you can see that in the background there. See how the chests back there are closed? But this one is open. So it's just kind of cool to keep in mind. I mean, it's a tough recipe because you got to get those blaze rods. I don't think we have any of these on the server yet. So another thing that comes with these, though, is an ender pouch. Now, the ender pouch, if I were to dye it the same as this, then it would actually, whatever I put in here would end up in my pouch. Actually, give me one second and I'll show you how that works. So, first I wanted to come over here and show you the recipe for the ender pouch, which is four blaze powders, three pieces of leather, an ender pearl, and a piece of wool. Now, I have a white, white, white uh, ender chest. So if I open that, do you see how my bag opens there? So now I'm going to put a piece of green wool in there. And when I open my ender pouch, that same piece of green wool is in there. So you see, it, it just kind of like mixes it up a little. So, and you can also change out this recipe and make a green one. You can make whatever color you want. And that's it. And you can share these with everybody, too. They make a really good mailbox because if you do the white, which we had in the last server, we actually set white, white, white as our mailbox. So when Shadow's girl is at her base, she can send something through the ender chest and I will get it at my base. So just something to think about. It's really cool. All right. Down here, we have storage drawers. Now, the drawers I like um, for mass storage, like if you're separating things and you want to be able to see them, that's what the drawers are good for. The way you use the drawer is, I'll just use this die here, you just left click it into the drawer. Now, I have a key here, so I want to show you how this works. Now, say you don't really have that many purple die, <laughs> but you don't ever want anything else going into this drawer you can take a key and lock it. Now, if I take the purple dye out, it'll show that there's zero purple dye in there, but it's still there. So nothing else can be put into this drawer now. If I unlock it, there you go. Now it's empty. So the same goes for any of the drawers. Now, also, um, I've got beeping noises going on in my ear. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. To make these drawers, you just need some wood planks and a chest. So very, very simple recipes. Um, these are a little bit upgraded. You can only put a stack of 16 in each drawer. In this one, you can put a stack of 32. And in these four, you can only have a stack of eight in each. And the way to make these middle one is with five, or I'm sorry, seven wood planks and two chests and then the last one is five wood planks and four chests now you can add upgrades to each of these um, the obsidian upgrade will give you uh, two times the stack limit the iron upgrade gives you three times gold gives you five times diamond gives you eight times and the emerald gives you 13 times i think it's somewhere around 400 stacks that you can fit in one single drawer and you can put up to five upgrades on each of these and you can either just cl uh, left click with the upgrades to put it on or you can shift left click to see the upgrades in there or see inside the drawer something else for these drawers is a downgrade which would allow you only to be able to put a single stack in 
one of these drawers and that's it. So that's what the downgrade is for. This here is from Thermal Expansion Mod and this is a cache. This cache is really simple to make actually, I was very surprised. It is made with a 10 ingot, and, or three 10 ingots, I'm sorry, a chest, and a redstone servo. Now, I forgot to put this one out, but I can show you right now what, how to make a redstone servo. You just need four pieces of redstone and an iron ingot, and that's it, and you make a cache. This holds up to 20,000 items. It can be upgraded as well using these thermal expansion upgrades back here and that will actually cause it to be able to hold I think somewhere I think it's like millions of items I'm really not sure how much um, but that's about that uh, now the are refined storage I'm not really going to go into detail I'm not going to show you crafting recipes because it's kind of in game anyway and we don't have any on the server right now because they do cause a lot of lag so here you have a crafting controller or, or I'm sorry a controller and it's a creative controller I'm not sure why that is um, you have a disk drive and this is the grid now if you put anything in here you can search for wool or let's search something else and see the wool doesn't show up so it's very handy and you can also craft on here and do lots of things with this um, but it's hard to make and this has he put a 64k storage disk in here you can go all the way down to a 1k I believe storage disk and then all the way up to a 64k and you can have up to eight discs in here all of it like I said very hard to make so we're gonna pass on this for now uh, something else that I've seen a couple of the players on the server already have like Jackson and Killshot are using this um, modular storage now I don't exactly know how this works um, so if you want to know how this works you might want to ask them but I did see the recipe was pretty easy to make uh, this makes a machine frame so you need four iron two lapis and two gold nuggets and then to put it all together, you need the machine frame in the middle, three quartz, four redstone, and a any kind of chest will do. So that's how to make it, but how to use it, I'm probably going to have to have somebody show me because I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing it. you probably got to add some upgrades or something like that. I'm really not sure. All right, back here we have our colossal chest. Now, these are getting fancy. These chests can be pretty big. I really don't know what the biggest is. I know Dog said he made a 15 by 15. The biggest I've ever made was a 9 by 9, and that was in my ore factory last season. So I really don't know how big these guys can get. But we've got some examples here. All right, first I'm going to show you how to make the walls, the core, and the interface because you need uh, at least two of these. You need the uh, core and the wall in order to make each of these chests. So to make a wall, you just need some oak planks with an oak wood in the middle. Now, of course, the recipes for the iron and the gold, the diamond, the obsidian, I think that might be silver, all of that. You can even make it out of copper. Um, here, let's actually, I'll go down the line, I'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, you need you can make it out of wood, copper. Uh, what's this? It, it's not telling me what it is. Why isn't it telling me what it is? It just says. Uh no. I have no idea. All right, so I think that might be iron, silver, gold, diamond, and obsidian. I think that's it. So I think dog just missed a copper one. <laughs> But that's okay. They're all made kind of differently. I'm only going to show you how to make the wood one. So, like I said, wood planks around a wo oak wood. Now, you need quite a bit of this chest wall, though, in order to make a colossal chest. Because the way it has to be laid out, um, you put, save for this one, you put nine around the bottom. 
because you want a three by three area. Then you're gonna put, uh, you know what? It's easier if I just show you. Okay, so here we go. It has to be even no matter what you do. So say we did a four by four, then our platform has to be four by four. You go all the way around the outside. Uh, no, 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 did not mean to do that. Oh, there we go. All right, and you wanna go up by four, leaving a gap in the middle. Go, oh, and I fell. And I'm in creative, so that's not a problem. All right, there we go, close it off. And I left a little hole right here because that's where you put your chest core. Or, well, you could really put it anywhere, but that's where I put it. Now, a colossal chest can hold <laughs> quite a bit. Even the small ones can hold quite a bit. I did not know they could be made this small, two by two, but even that, you can see it can hold quite a bit. Um, now, the bigger ones, of course, are gonna hold a lot more, but who's got the space for all that? This is enormous. I know mine, like I said, was nine by nine, but I had it down underground, so I never really saw, oh, we didn't see that. And so I never really saw how big it could actually be. Now let me switch my game mode back to survival and I'll be right back to you. All right, so back to these recipes. I showed you that one. Now to make the chest core is pretty simple. You just need a chest wall plus an iron ingot. Um, and that could be any of these chest walls plus an iron ingot. Now for the chest interface, you need cobblestone around a chest wall. Now what the chest interface does is it gives you a link so that you can put different um, like transfer nodes and pipes coming from it to transfer items. So we're really not gonna go into that either because that's more advanced. Um, so that's about it for the colossal chest. Like I said, these are kind of the neatest looking chests. I really cannot get over this. I did not know you could make a two by two colossal chest. That is so awesome. I have a new goal now. I'm, I'm gonna have to make one of those. I know just the place to make it to. All right, so I went ahead back over here for a little bit and I'm gonna show you some other ways to, uh, you know, store things. So we have the Hermantron cases. They come in pink, blue, and green, even though I've never found a green one yet. Now, you could find Hermantron cases out in the world. You have to go exploring. That is the only way to find them. Let's see if we can look around. I am in a regular world, but up in the air. I don't see any just nearby that I could like point out and show you. But when you see them, you can't miss them. They have, oh, I don't want to fall. They have glass all the way around them. And they have one of these in the middle. And they have Hermitrons inside of them. But after you collect the Hermitrons, well, use the cases to store some stuff. It's like having a shulker box, but it's a Hermitron box. All right, you cannot craft those, by the way. All right, let's see here. I think, ah, yes, this is the one I wanted to show you next. The bag of holding. It takes six gold ingots, a piece of magical wood, and two chests. And then that gives you this little baby here. A beautiful bag of holding that you can stick whatever you want in it. And it just stays there in your inventory. And I like that. I think I've seen you play with these before in uh, Life in the Woods Renaissance. I don't remember if they have those or not but I think you played with something similar, if not that. All right, something else. This is one of my favorites, and I think you're gonna really, really like this one. I don't know if you've already played with this, you probably have, but it's from Biomes of Plenty. It's called a flower basket. You make it with six sticks, and this is what you get right here. And it's a flower basket, and it does just that. I'm gonna break up all these flowers, and I'll show you, they will all go nice and neatly into my flower basket. I love that, I think it's so cool. 
So very simple, very easy, and that way you have lots of flowers. I'll just stick that up in my bag of holding as well and all that because I can. So that's so awesome. All right, last thing I want to show you guys because this was something that Jackson had asked me about was how to link a um, alumite pickaxe to a chest. Now, I, I just grabbed a random alumite pickaxe, but I believe it works with any tool that is made out of some kind of alumite. The alumite could be in the handle, the tool head, whatever. I, I believe it's any kind of alumite. And what you do is you want to link it to a chest. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to show you on a regular chest first. You just shift, right click, and you see that little sign at the bottom that says linked inventory? That means that whatever I mine will go into this chest. Now you can do this with pretty much every chest. You can do it with a diamond. You can do it anything, any chest you have. And you can even do it with a colossal chest. And that's what I was talking about when you, uh, we have a colossal chest. Now the thing about colossal chest is I believe you can only do it on the chest core uh, yeah you can't do it anywhere else it has to be the chest core so like if I came over here and did this it's not gonna work it has to be on the chest core so let's come back over here we'll link it back to the regular chest and we're gonna come over here and mine this stone and I'm just gonna vein mine it really quick there we go got rid of it all at once now you see, I don't have any stone in my inventory whatsoever. So let's go over here and we're gonna check this chest. There it is, 35 cobblestone. So that's it guys, like that's super easy and you could do that, like I said, with any tool. Um, I do it with my ax, so when I chop down wood it goes into a certain chest. Um, I do it with my shovel, my, uh, Sometimes I've even done it with alumite swords, and when you kill things, all the loot goes into a chest. So I think this is just a really cool thing to have, and it's super easy to use, and that's about it. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Ash, hopefully now you know a little bit more about storage if you did watch this video. Um, if y'all did enjoy this video, please don't leave, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this one. I will see you all next time. Bye!